Mice pie. Mice never tasted so delicious. The problem is, what is the coefficient of this term in the expansion of this formula? Pause this video if you want to give it a try. Please like this video and subscribe our channel to get more interesting math problems. Before we uh, do the problem, we want to introduce this multinomial theorem. It states like following. For any variables x1 through xr and any non-negative integer n, we have this formula, this equation. Uh, here is the summation over this n1 through nn, where what? n1 through nn are non-negative integers such that n1 plus n2 plus nr equals n. Now, if we consider this expansion, there are n terms here. So from each term, we select one variable. So a generic term in the expansion will take the form well, given here, a constant times x1 to the power n1, x2 to the power n2, and xr to the power nr, with the summation of all these ni's being n. Now the question is, how to determine the coefficient c? Is there a formula for this c? Well, we're going to give a combinatorial proof. Now, how to get a term of the form x1 to the power n1, x2 to the power n2, and xr to the power nr? It involves the following steps. First, select n1 terms to be occupied by x1. Then, select n2 out of the remaining n minus n1 terms for x2. And then select n3 out of the remaining n minus n1 minus n2 terms for x3. And so on. We continue until the very last step for xr. Therefore, the number of times this term occur in the expansion is going to be by product row, multiplication row for the counting, it is going to be c equals n truth n1, n minus n1 truth n2, and so on. And finally, n minus n1 minus n2 until minus nr minus 1 truth nr. So this equals, plugging all the formulas, we have the second equation. And you can see that there is n minus n1 factorial and uh, on the bottom of the first term, but n minus n1 factorial is on the top of the second term. So they cancel out and then cancel out. And now finally, what's left is just n factorial over n1 factorial, n2 factorial, and n r factorial. Here, n1, n r are non-negative integers with the summation being n. So we have this multinomial theorem. Okay, for any x1 through xr, any non-negative integer n, we have okay this equation. Now there is some special cases for this multinomial theorem. Firstly, we have so-called a binomial theorem. This is when r equals 2. Now we have what? This uh, formula. We also have a trinomial theorem. That's the win r equals 3. And we have this formula. Now let's solve the problem. Now, what is the coefficient of this term in the expansion of this? Let's check our solution using this multinomial theorem. Well, for this question, we are going to use trinomial theorem. 
by the trinomial theorem, we have this raised to power 10 is going to be, all right, the summation we have given here. Here is 10, to the 10 factorial over n1 factorial and 2 factorial and 3 factorial times x to the power n1. Now, second is a 2y squared as one term raised to power n2 and a 3z squared, z cubed, raised to power n3. Now here we have n1, n2, n3 are non-negative integers and the summation is 10. Now in order to find a term containing x squared, y raised to power s, and z raised to power 12. Now we must choose what? n1 being 2, n2 is 4, and n3 is 4. Now in other words, the term looks like the following. 10 factorial over 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 4 factorial, x squared, 2y squared raised to the power 4, 3z cubed raised to the power 4. That is 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 factorial times 4 factorial, uh, 2 to the power 4, 3 raised to the power 4, x squared, y raised to the power 8, z raised to the power 12. And then if you use a calculator, you can find this value is 4,082,400. That is the coefficient for this term in that expansion. Here we go. The coefficient of this term in the expansion is 4,082,400. Good job. Now, a problem to challenge yourself. Can you solve the following problem? What is the coefficient of x, y raised to the power negative 2, z raised to the power 3 in this expansion? Can you solve this problem? Give it a try and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.